we'll just play with all of our warrior poses and just make them super fun and just kind of, you know, sweat, sweat it out. And, um, and then we'll, we're going to start with a cool little meditation. So I've been really like contemplating on this and really, how do I say, like, I guess just reflecting on what I like, what the warrior is, you know, to me. And there's an energy of masculine in all of us and an energy of feminine, you know, in all of us. And in my opinion, the warrior is like the healed masculine and the feminine coming together in a perfect union with, within, within us. So you'll, I'll take you through like just little, little meditation of that, like in the beginning and sort of through the middle of the practice as well. Um, but just kind of wanted to plant that seed before we get going. All right, so let's actually start. Um, we'll start in a seated position. I'm going to go ahead and get back on my mat. And just FYI, if for some reason the internet gets unstable, if you take your video off briefly for a little while until it stabilizes, that's been helping. Um, but hopefully we'll be okay. All right. So go ahead and find your easy cross-legged position. Go ahead and close your eyes. And we're going to take your left hand, uh, palm facing up and your right hand palm facing down. So the left is representative of the feminine energy, which is a receptive, intuitive, creative uh, energy. And then the right hand is um, representative of the masculine and that's the protective energy, the grounding, healthy boundaries, speaking our truth. So just tuning into both of those palms of your hands and just breathing in and out. Actually, let's start on the left hand. So just take a few breaths, imagining that your breath is just moving in and out of that left palm of your hand. And then take your attention over to the right hand and start to breathe in and out of that right hand. So just imagining that even though the palm is down, you're breathing in and out of the right hand, right palm of your hand. Beautiful. And so we'll take both of the hands now, we're gonna bring them together. So bringing that feminine energy of the left hand and the masculine energy of the right hand together, right at the center of your heart. And just taking a few moments here, just to feel the hands coming together and just breathing from the connected palms into your heart and breathing back from your heart into your hands. Just with the intention of this union, this perfect union of these two energies within. Awesome. So take a moment if you have your own intention that you want to bring forward. Let's do that now. And then we're gonna go ahead and just start right in our downward facing dog. So you can bring a soft gaze into the room, shift yourself forward and come back into downward facing dog. <clears throat> so the first part of this practice, we're gonna just focus on your spine. <clears throat> so when I think of a warrior, I think of a really strong spine, a really flexible spine, a really strong back. It's kind of that age old saying, right? Um, when 
you know, when somebody is being called weak, they may be called spineless. So take a few nice deep breaths in and out here of your spine, really connecting to all the muscles through your back. And just coming aware of your own energy. Each posture is sort of an energy manager, just helping to reorganize things. Beautiful. Go ahead and inhale, come onto your hands and your knees. And then just set yourself up for cat cow, okay? So when you're ready to start moving through your cat cow, we'll go ahead and do that. Just working at your own pace. Beautiful. Coming into a nice flat back, take a deep breath in. Exhale, tuck your toes and come back into downward dog. <laughs> Maybe just shake your head a little bit out here. Yes, a little bit no. Maybe sigh it out through your mouth. And then as we inhale, look toward the top of your mat and either step, walk, or jump if you're ready up into Ardha Uttanasana, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Let's root to rise. Inhale, push through the feet. Sweep the arms up, look up. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step to your plank. Let's pause here. So press your heels back, okay? Think about this in terms of your spine. Really strengthening your back. Draw the belly in. Breathe in and out of your spine. And on your next exhale, let your knees come down and go ahead and find your tabletop again, okay? So we'll take your right leg behind you. Yes. We're gonna take your left arm in front. So big full body stretch. Think of this like a cat cow. Inhale, lift up, arch your back. Exhale, elbow to knee, round out your spine. Good, two more, inhale. Little back bend, exhale and round it out. One more, inhale, exhale. Good, so listen up, inhale, take it back. As you exhale, bring your left hand down and then step your right foot to the top of your mat. So it's gonna come in between your hands. <laughs> Good, sweet. So from here, we'll inhale, sweep the arms up. So turn the palms up, reach up. Exhale, turn the palms down and tap the floor. Listen up, inhale, shift the hips back, draw the right toes back. Exhale, fold down the leg. So we're gonna do that again. Inhale, lift your gaze, look forward. Exhale, come back into your lunge. Inhale, sweep the arms up, palms up, reach up. Exhale, palms down, tap the floor. Good, inhale, take it back, straighten that front leg, exhale, fold down. Inhale, lift your head, lift your heart. Exhale, we're going one more round of that. Good, breathe it in, sweep the arms up. Exhale, release the hands down. Shift it back, inhale. This time we'll exhale and just fold it down, hold it here. For three, two, one. Inhale, lift your gaze, look forward. Okay, so listen up, little transition here. You're gonna take this right leg behind you again. <sighs> Root your palms to the mat. Tuck your left toes. Inhale, right leg lift. So you're in three-legged dog. 
You'll exhale, bend your knee and open your hip. There it is. Good, square off your shoulders. Three, deep breaths. Two. One, inhale, straighten your right leg, square off your hip. Exhale, come toward your plank pose. You're gonna lower down through a vinyasa. So you'll take your chaturanga or you'll modify to your belly. Moving through that upward facing chest, back to your downward facing dog. And then just steady things out for a moment. Take a breath, maybe sigh it out. Good, inhale, look forward, step, walk, or jump. Top of your mat, Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Root to rise, inhale, Urdhva Hastasana. As we exhale, folding again, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plank pose, step it back. Hold it here. Strong spine. Yes, so lift the rib cage up toward the back. We're here for three, two, one. Let the knees come down. Very nice. Left leg comes back, right arm comes forward. So strong spine, flexible spine. Inhale like a cat cow. Exhale, round it out, elbow to, elbow to knee. Good, two more. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Inhale. Exhale. Good, inhale, extend. Stay with it. And then just release your right hand down. Draw your left knee through and step in between your hands. A little low lunge here when you're ready, okay? Sweep the arms up, palms face up. Exhale, fingertips tap the mat. Inhale, shift the hips back, straighten this front leg. Exhale, fold. Good, inhale, lift your head, look forward. Exhale, shift forward, find your lunge. Here we go, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, sweep the arms down, tap the mat. Good, taking it back. Here we go, inhale, shifting back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift your head, look forward. Exhale, we're going through this one more time. All right, little low lunge. Sweep the arms up. Exhale, tap the floor. Inhale, take it back, Ardha Hanuman. Exhale, we're gonna fold it down this time and hold it. Really getting into those hamstrings. We're here for three, two, one. Inhale, lift your gaze, look forward, and exhale, come back to your low lunge. Cool. So we're stepping this back uh, front leg, sorry, through again and behind you. So we're in your little three-legged tabletop, okay? Tuck your right toes. We're pressing up here. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the top knee. Start to open that hip a little bit. Relax your head for three. Two, one, inhale, straighten the legs, square the hip, exhale, moving through a vinyasa. So travel forward, find your plank, lower down your way. Coming back to your down dog, let's take a breath. Okay, so we'll start to change the pace a little bit. Inhale, look forward, step, walk, or jump to the top of your mat. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, fold down the legs. Root to rise, inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, Tadasana, mountain pose. Okay, so feet together, chair pose. Here we go, inhale, sweep 
the arms up, Utkatasana. Exhale, twist to the right. So hook your left elbow across your right thigh. Hold it here. Inhale, come back to your chair pose. So stay in your squat. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, come back to your chair pose. Stay in your squat. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Inhale, half lift. So listen up, step your left foot back. We're gonna bend that right knee, high lunge, sweep the arms up and hold. So this is our crescent warrior. Yes. Hold it here, nice deep breaths in and out. So really just pulling that right hip back a little bit. Stay buoyant through the legs. One more breath. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, release your hands down to frame your foot. So we're gonna come into a modified warrior three. So if we walk forward, sorry, shift the weight forward into the right foot, hands are on the ground. Just lift your left leg as high as your left hip. Yeah, so press that left foot back. So feel a little micro bend in your right knee, a little micro bend. Lift the kneecap, engage the thigh, lift through the inner thigh of the standing leg. We're here for three. Two. As you exhale, pull your left knee behind your right calf and you're gonna come all the way down to a seat. So we're gonna sit down inside the left heel, okay? So the right ankle is crossed over the left thigh. So take a moment to catch the top knee and just draw in. So pull the belly in, lift up through your heart. Deep breath in. And you're gonna hold that top knee with your left hand and extend your right arm back. So it looks like this. <sighs> Root down through your sitting bones, sit tall and look toward the back hand. One more breath. Good. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, bring your right hand back. So you might come into a little counter twist here if, if your body wants that. But we're gonna come out the back of the pose. Give yourself a rock and roll three times. All right, so it's inhale, lift your right leg up. Okay, bend the knee, open up the hip. Let's take that rock star again. Okay, we'll flip it over. Nice deep breath. We'll take an extra long one on the other side. And then as you inhale, come back three-legged dog. Okay, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, warrior one. So step through, root the feet, inhale, rise up, warrior one. Awesome. Yes, take a deep breath in and a long breath out. Let's take a deep breath in here. As you exhale, you're gonna wrap your left arm underneath your right. Okay, left arm underneath your right. Yes, so you're gonna start opening up those shoulders, pull the elbows down, breathe into the spaces around your shoulder blades. And then as we inhale, we'll step forward, lift your left knee. And as you exhale, wrap your left leg around your right. So here's the half bind. Yeah, you know the full bind, but here's kind of like the next step. We just kickstand the toes or we wrap behind. Good, sit low, squeeze the legs, pull the left hip back. We're here for three. Two, one. 
Listen up, you guys. Inhale, come all the way up. So it's a, kind of a tough transition. Lift your left knee. As you exhale, st a big step back here. Okay, spin your heel. It's warrior two. Inhale, open the arms. And then just pause. I want to make sure everyone got there. Okay, good. <laughs> so we've moved through Crescent Warrior. Warrior one. Here's Warrior two. Peaceful Warrior. Here we go. Inhale, take it back. Exhale, windmill your hands to the ground. <sighs> Root your left hand down and sweep your right hand up. So come into your twist here. Right hand is up, left arm is on the ground. Beautiful. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, take your right hand down, three-legged dog. Here we go. Right leg sweeps through, so keep your left leg at the back of your mat. Exhale, vinyasa. So come forward, find your plank, lower down your way. Coming right on back, downward dog. Sweet. All right, take a breath. Inhale, look to the top of your mat and jump right into your chair. Okay, Utkatasana. Inhale, jump. And we're here. And we're gonna pause right here. Yes, awesome. Let's take a deep breath in. Exhale, twist to the right. So hook that left elbow. We're gonna take crow pose here. So start to sit your bum down. Take your hands to the right side of your body. So you can even pop up to the balls of your feet. Get your hands down on the ground. Yes, bend your elbows, make a little shelf, and then start to rock forward. You gotta push a lot through your hands, lift your heart like a lot, lot, lot. And then squeeze your heels in for three, two, one. <laughs> Slowly come back. Whew. Let's find that chair. Cool, drop the heels. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, twist over to the left. So the twist is the first thing, okay? Because that arm balance is a huge twist. So let's sit a little lower. Get your fingertips. That's what I start with. Okay, fingertips. And then pop up to the balls of your feet so your arms are still across the legs. Make a little shelf out of your arms, so bend your elbows. Move your heart beyond your fingernails. Push down and lift your chest. And then squeeze your heels in for three, two, one. Inhale, make your way back. <laughs> Exhale, drop those heels. Let's take it up. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Just started sweating on that one. Let's inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, step your right foot back. So we're gonna come right here. Okay, root to rise, crescent lunge. So let's pull that left hip back. Feel the buoyancy here in your legs. And take a deep breath in. Exhale, release your hands down to frame your foot. We're gonna walk the hands forward a bit, shift the weight into your left foot, and come into a modified warrior three. So the knee is not locked, okay? The thigh is engaged. So there's a little micro bend in the knee and you wanna hug the thigh bone with the thigh muscle. Good, stretch the head forward. We're here for three. Lifting through your left inner thigh, two. And as you exhale, bend the right knee and draw it behind your left calf and come to sit down. So you're sitting down inside your right heel. Okay, so left foot's on the ground here. Hug that left knee, just draw it in for a moment. The reason why we do that is to create length in your spine. 
which is important before you twist. So hug that knee here with the right hand. Let's um, reach the left arm back, push down through your sits bones, sit up a little taller, see if you can reach back a little further, look back. Feel that rotation happening around your spine. And then slowly bring that left hand back. So if you wanna come into that counter twist, sometimes it just like your spine just kind of screams for it. Just a little counter twist to the right. And then we'll come out the back of the pose. Let's rock and roll three times. And then we'll move through a vinyasa. Let me just make sure I don't do that to the mic again this time. Okay, so we're all making our way. You wanna land back, down dog. Cool. Okay, let's take that left leg to the sky. Inhale, exhale, bend your knee, open your hip. We're gonna flip it if you wanna flip it. We'll spend a little extra time on this side since we did it twice <laughs> on the other side. Inhale, slowly make your way back. So nice and easy, lift that left leg up. As you exhale, step through, warrior one. So let's root to rise, here we go. Sweep the arms up, square the hips off. Awesome, beautiful. Okay, we're here, three big breaths. We'll take a deep breath in. Exhale, wrap that right arm underneath your left. Pull the elbows down, draw the belly back. Inhale, step forward, lift your right knee. And then exhale, have a seat, cross it over. Garudasana Eagle, bind. So it always helps me to remember to hug the midline. Everything moves in toward the center of the body. All right, here's that little bit of that challenging transition. As you inhale, come up, lift that knee. Exhale, take a big step back. Spin the heel, warrior two. Inhale, open the arms. Now you just did a lot of work with that left leg. So make sure that in this pose, you use your right leg a lot. Okay, so you're, you're not, putting all that weight into your front leg. Peaceful warrior, here we go. Inhale, sweep the arms back. Exhale, windmill your hands to frame your foot. So pick your back heel up, root your right hand down, sweep your left hand to the sky. We'll take a deep breath in. Exhale, release your left hand down. Keep your back leg where it is. Inhale, sweep your left leg up. Vinyasa. So I'm gonna come through a three-legged chaturanga here. So I'll keep my left foot lifted. Nice, everyone, really good. Okay, so we're gonna come down to the knees for a moment. And we're gonna stand up on the knees. So like I said, a warrior has a flexible spine, a strong spine. Okay, so keeping the feet, or I guess in this case, your knees, hip distance, we're gonna take the hands to your lower back. So it's Ustrasana Camel Pose. Move the hips forward so they're right over your knees. Get super tall, look up. And then just keep repeating that, hips forward, Get super tall, look up. Maybe drop your head back. Maybe take one hand to one heel. Maybe take both hands to both heels. So you're here. And you wanna keep moving the hips forward, rolling the shoulders back, 
lifting the chest, and then maybe opening up through the throat. Good. Inhale, come all the way back up to stand on your knees. And then exhale, sit back on your heels. Okay, so here's where we're gonna move into that little meditation. Close your eyes. So just again, bringing into union the masculine and the feminine. So it's the action and it's the stillness. Take your left palm up and your right palm down on your thighs. And just tune into both of those hands at the same time and breathe up from the palms of your hands into your heart. And imagine that there's just a union of that energy, those two energies happening in your heart. And then you're breathing back down into your hands. Beautiful. Slowly opening up the eyes as we just shift forward and come back into downward facing dog. Whew. All right, let's inhale, look toward the top of your mat, step, walk, or jump forward. Ardha Uttanasana. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, inhale, bend the knees, sweep the arms up. Good, exhale, draw your hands to your heart, sit a little lower. Inhale, come all the way back up to stand, reach up. Exhale, sit down nice and low. Good, two more. Inhale, make sure you use both legs equal the same. Exhale, my right leg tries to take over, inhale. Exhale. Good, hold it here. Reach the arms forward. Move the tailbone back. Strong back. We're here for three, two, one. Good. Exhale, fold down the legs. Relax the head down. Good. Inhale, half lift. Step your left foot back. Here we go. Left foot. High lunge, root to rise, inhale. Okay, so we're gonna move right into warrior three from here. Okay, taking a deep breath in. Exhale, we're gonna send the arms back, shift the weight into the right foot and take flight. So let's flex the back foot. Okay, spiral the left thigh under you. Move the head forward, we're here for three. Two, and then take another big step back and find that lunge again. <sighs> Inhale, Woo. sweep your arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat. You guys, so good. All right, three-legged dog. Keep your back leg where it is. Sweep your right leg up. Exhale, knee to chest. One, we got two more. Inhale, lift, exhale. Two, one more, inhale, exhale, stay here, hover, hold, step through, warrior one. Root your back heel, rise it up, your Bajrasana A. Warrior one, yeah. Deep breath in, long breath out. Let's take a deep breath in here, and then exhale, bring the hands behind you. Interlace your fingers, roll your shoulders back, breathe in. Exhale, humble warrior. Good, so pull the right hip toward the midline and then back. Relax your head, one more breath. Inhale, push down to your feet. Let's come back up, warrior one. 
So listen up, we're gonna spin around for warrior two at the back of your mat. And then just pause here. Cool. So the left foot is the front leg. Deep breaths. Good, inhale, reverse your warrior. Sweep the right hand down, left arm up. Listen up. Exhale, we're gonna start to float forward. Left hand is gonna come down, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Right leg lifts, so you're stacking the right foot on top of the left. Right hand can stay on your right hip, or you can reach the right hand up. Now stay lifted through the inner thigh on your standing leg. We're here for three. If you can, look up at your top hand. Two. One, as you exhale, release your right hand down. We're gonna bend both knees. Okay, so listen up. Draw the right knee behind the left calf. Come all the way down to sit. Now this is a little different than what we did before. Okay, so we started here. We're gonna go into cow face pose, gomakasana, yes. So I personally have to kind of rock forward and get my knees stacked, and then I come back in. If that's too much for the hips or for the knees, then you can actually keep, sorry you guys, I know you're not facing me right now. <laughs> I just realized that. Um, but your right leg can be straight, okay? And your left knee can be uh, stacked on top. All right, flex your feet, roll the pinky toe side edge of the foot into the mat. You can either rest your hands down on that top knee. And what I would suggest is to take the left palm up and the right palm down inside it. Or you can come into the bind, okay? So you can take the right hand down your back and your left hand up your back and you can catch those hands right behind the heart. Yeah, wherever you are, draw your belly button back. You're all doing great. You're all doing great. Yes. Now tune into your spine. Deep breaths into your spine. One more breath here. Awesome, as you inhale, slowly release your bind, release your hands down, just take a beat, take a pause. Woo. So listen up, it's very simple. All you're gonna do is rock back to come out of the pose. Let's take your feet as wide as your mat, your knees are bent and you're just gonna windshield wiper left and right the knees. And then we're gonna rock and roll it. Okay, rock and roll it right into your chair pose. Three. Two. One, and you're here. Yes, awesome. So just listen for my words because you guys know these poses, okay? Take a deep breath in. Exhale, hands to your heart, sit super duper low. Inhale, coming all the way up, straighten out the legs, reach the fingertips up. Exhale, come back into your squat. Use both legs equal the same. Three more, inhale, here we go. Standing straight, exhale, squat. Two more, inhale, exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Bring it down, hold it here. You're in that nice deep squat. Reach your arms forward. Reach your tailbone back. We're here for three, two. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, release your hands down, fold down over your legs. Take a breath. Good, inhale, lift your head and heart, look forward. Exhale, step your right foot back. So we're coming into high lunge, you guys. We already did this on the other side. We're just going through it now on the left. So come into that high lunge. Yes. Pull that left hip back. And we'll take a deep breath in, reach the arms up. As you exhale, start to sweep the arms back as you transfer the weight into that left foot and take flight, warrior three. 
Reach your foot back, reach your head forward. We're here for three, two, take a big step back, inhale, high lunge. Good, as you exhale, hands come down to the mat to frame your foot. So keep your right foot where it is, inhale, take your left leg to the sky. Exhale, knee to the chest. Squeeze. Good. Inhale. Two more. Exhale. One more. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze it in. Hover, hover, hold. Step and find warrior one feet. Root to rise. Inhale. Yay. So we're going to turn around to the front of your mat in just a moment. So stay tuned. And we'll take a deep breath in here. Exhale, sweep your arms behind you, interlace your fingers. Roll your shoulders back, inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, fold right on down, humble warrior. Relax your head down. So we've taken crescent warrior, warrior one, warrior two, humble warrior, peaceful warrior, warrior three. Relax your head, one more breath. Good, inhale, come all the way up. Warrior one, reach the arms up. Okay, as we exhale, we're gonna spin around to warrior two at the front of your mat. Yellow, sweet. So now the right foot's in front. Good, all right. Let's take that peaceful warrior again. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, we're gonna take a little floating flying warrior into that Ardha Chandrasana half moon pose. So think of yourself like a starfish. Yeah, just whew, spreading out in all directions. Stacking that left hip on top of right. And if it's available, looking up at that top hand for three, two, exhale, release your left hand down, square your hips and then pull your left knee behind your right ankle and come to have a seat. So it looks like this initially, we roll forward, stack the knees and sit in between the heels. So this is like the cow ears, your feet. <laughs> So flex the feet, roll the pinky toe side edge. So if you just wanna come into that little meditation, left palm up, right hand down inside. Otherwise, the left hand is gonna come down the back here and the right hand is gonna walk up the back to find your bind. And wherever you are, just breathing in from your hands to your heart and from your heart to your hands. Breathing in and out of your spine, keep it nice and supported by engaging your abdominals, pulling your belly button back, Mula Bandha, or sorry, Uddiyana Bandha. One more breath. And then we're just gonna release the hands. And just take a moment and let the shoulders kind of chill if you were in the bind. And then we'll go ahead and rock back, okay? Undo the legs and just set the feet down nice and wide and we'll take it side to side and just kind of rock that out a little bit. Good. And then we're just gonna actually lie right on down. Come right onto your back. Whew. Okay, we're gonna come through three rounds of our back bends. I think we did this yesterday. We're, we're gonna go five breaths up, five breaths down, meaning we're gonna hold it, you know, uh, on our back for five breaths. So it's a total, what is that? Five times 10 times three, 30 breaths, something like that. So take your hands by your hips. Know that you get three chances. So 
start where you want to start when you're ready inhale lift up finding baby bridge or full wheel and we're up for five four three two and one lower the hips release the hands if you had to bind let's take your feet together knees fall out wide right hand to the belly left hand to the heart five breaths Good. So we'll set up for round two, either the same or maybe you go a bit further okay, with the hands maybe by the ears. When you're ready, inhale, lift up. Round two. We're here for five, four, Three, two, and one. Let's come on down. All right, so we'll take our feet together again. Knees fall out wide. Let's take the palms together and we'll bring the thumbs to the third eye. Five breaths. Let's do that one more time, setting it up. Round three, okay, here we go. <sighs> Lift off, inhale on the way up. Hold it here for five. And just stay really curious, four. Three, two, and one Whew. let's bring it down so let's take the feet as wide as your mat and let the knees fall in together this time and we'll take the arms out wide and let the palms face up let's flip the right palm down so left palm is up right palm is down and just breathing balance between those two hands It's interesting, right? Because those two energies feel very different, right? With the palm up and the palm down. So initial, initially they might feel like contrast or conflict, right? But they work together. Beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and hug the knees in towards your chest. Ooh, yay. We'll give a little rock side to side here. We're gonna take a little bit of a deeper twist today. Let me just make sure, okay, good, we're good. We're gonna take the right leg to wrap around your left. So we're gonna find your little eagle bind, okay, in your legs. So you might take the full bind. You might just take the half and then take your hips over to the right side of your mat and let your legs fall over to the left. Okay. Ooh, if this is too deep, sometimes for me it's too much, but today it feels pretty good. But if it feels too much, you just come out a little bit. Awesome. 
Whew, let's inhale, come back up to center. <laughs> Unravel your legs. Bring your hips back. Whew, and we'll do it again. So left leg is going to come across the right thigh. Hips move over to the left side of your mat. And then legs fall to the right. Whew. Beautiful. Let's inhale, come back to center. Just undo those legs here. All right. We're going to rock and roll up to a seat. And then sit your butt back. So just scoot your butt all the way back. We'll straighten out the legs here. This is, I'm going to be honest, this is not like my favorite <laughs> fold, my favorite pose. I kind of hate it a little bit. Um, because there's a lot going on and um, you know, you want to make sure that it feels okay in your lower back. So if you feel anything crunchy or weird in your lower back, you can bend your knees a little bit and catch your feet. Okay. Otherwise we'll reach for the big toes. So peace finger binds can come on the inside of the big toes or you can catch the outsides of your feet. And what I like to think about here is lifting up through the pelvic floor first, kind of engaging and then moving the tailbone back finding some length through the lower back and then finding a little length through the middle back and then finding a little length through the upper back and the whole time super aware that the right and left leg feel quite different and just helping the body restore some balance here with breath and awareness You can even start to lift your thighs, engage your thighs a bit more. And then we'll inhale, come all the way back up. Let's exhale to lie down on your back. So I'm going to give you all the option here. If you want to come into your full shoulder stand, I totally get it. I'm feeling like uh, something a bit more yin because that was a lot of yang that practice. So if you're feeling that too, you can come here. Okay. Just to your um, candlestick. It's a restorative inversion, but feel free to come all the way up. Okay. If your body wants that full shoulder stand. And just making sure if you do come all the way up that you get your hands as close to your shoulder blades as possible feeling no pressure in the head or the neck. So that's another good way to describe, right? The masculine, which is the yang and the feminine, which is the yin. Beautiful. One more breath here. And then just slowly start to bend the knees and bring those feet back to the ground. And we're going to just slide the feet down, down towards the edge of your, the bottom edge of your mat. Let your feet flop out. And we're going to take the left palm up and the right palm down in your Shavasana. And you can just start with that little meditation as you kind of drift off here, just breathing from the palms of your hands up into your heart. And then from your heart back into the palms of your hands.
Awesome. <clears throat> so just take your left palm onto your heart and feel that connection there. That's sort of that feminine, really tapped in, connected to intuition. And we'll take the right hand and just place it on top of the left. And that's sort of that masculine feeling, right? That masculine energy of just holding the space, protector, healthy boundaries. And then when you're ready, you can just, in whatever way is best, start to make your way up to a seat, but no rush, just take your time. And then as we get back to our seats, we'll just close the eyes and we'll take the hands together at the heart. We'll close this out with a sound of Om. Let's take a deep breath in. Om. Bowing our heads. Just honoring both the divine masculine energy and the divine feminine energy that is within us all. And saying thank you, blessing this day, pronouncing it good. Amen.